Hi, in this video I will give you an overview of the Chord Explorer which comes with Listening Music Teacher. Listening Music Teacher allows you to look up note names, interval names, triad names, qualities and inversions, and sevenths chord names. In this way, the Chord Explorer is an easy way to look up the musical terms of notes placed on the staff. The Chord Explorer is not a tutorial. So, if you are a beginner, do not let you confuse that for the same hearing experience there are multiple names used in the music language. Let me explain the different areas on the screen. To the left we have the sheet music notation. The upper five lines build the treble stuff with the treble clef. And the lower five lines build the bass stuff with the bass clef. The Chord Explorer only supports the ground stuff with the treble and bass clef. In this configuration, the note, middle C, is centered between the two stuffs. Next to the clef follows the area for the key signature an area designated to lower or higher notes consistently by a half step by placing a series of sharps or flats in this area. The simple key signature C major does not have any sharps or flats. We can change the key signature with this drop down menu. For example F major has one flat. Did you notice that the orange short lines changed from C to F? The short orange lines mark the tonic of the scale, the starting note of a key. For C major, the tonic is C. And for F major, The tonic is of course F. Let us go back to the C major key. Each major key has a corresponding natural minor key. However, you cannot see a difference in the key signature. The C major key and the A minor key have both no sharps or flats. However, when using the minor key, the tonic changes from C to A. The natural minor scale uses the same notes as the major scale, but starts a minor third, that is three half steps, below the tonic of the major scale. C major, A minor. Since the starting note is no more C, the pattern for the succession of whole and half steps changes. The third interval is now a minor third. Therefore, the mode of the scale is minor. Already lost? Don't worry. Let us go back to the C major key and make it easy. So we do not have to struggle with these features in the beginning. Once you have understood the C major scale, you will see that all major scales follow the same pattern. The only difference is the starting note. The red frame contains the notes. On the bottom we find four colored notes. To make a note visible, we have to make the loudness of the note more than zero. We 
also can change the sound by choosing an instrument from the drop-down menu. In the red frame, we can grab the note and move it to the left or right. Sound comes now more from the left. And now from the right. We can also move the note up or down. By moving the note up, the red dot will jump one half step up. The note gets a sharp in front of it to reflect the new higher pitch. Moving the note further up brings us to the note D. The note D is a whole step above C or two half steps above C. So the note name changes when we go from a line to a space or from a space to a line. If the pitch only changes by half a step and does not fit on a space or a line, we have to use accidentals, sharps or flats to represent the note. The same pitch can be displayed by lowering the note D by a half step. Notice that the red dot did not change, but the note position changed from C to D. To hear the note, just click a button below the frame. So, the hearing experience is the same, but the notation is different. To the right, we find the frame labeled half steps. This area shows us the distance between two notes, or in the case of a single note, the distance to the tonic. Further to the right is the area where the names are displayed. For a single note, the note name with the octave number is displayed. In this sample, the note name is C sharp, and the octave in which the note is, is 4. By moving the note up an octave, the octave number will change to 5. To the right, the corresponding absolute solvage syllable is displayed. In the line below, the scale degree is shown. For example, the note D is the second note in the C major scale. The scale degrees also have names according to their function. For example, the note C has the function of the tonic in the C major scale. The last entry, the solvage syllable in parentheses, is the relative solvage syllable for the moving DO system. For example, when we change the key to F major, the tonic changes to the note F, which then corresponds to the DO in the movable solvage system. That is, the displayed note C will be the fifth note in the F major scale. 
Therefore, the movable solid syllable will be so. A last remark about single notes. There are three possible notations for the same sound if the pitch is not on a space or line. Here, the note D flat is displayed with a flat. If we change the key signature to C major, a sharp will be used to display the note. However, even though the note name changes from D flat to C sharp, it is the same note on a piano and therefore the two notations sound the same. We get a third way to display the same note by changing the key signature to C sharp major. The accidental in front of the note disappears because the accidental is contained in the key signature of C sharp. By the way, key signatures with sharps and the C major key usually display out of scale notes with sharps and key signatures with flats represent those notes with flats. Okay. Let us go to two notes. An interval is the distance between two notes. If two notes are visible, the chord explorer displays the interval name. Intervals have an interval quality and an interval number. If we move the second note also to C, The interval is called a perfect unison. If we move the note up by one half step to C sharp, the interval is called an augmented unison. Since the note body did not change, the bass name C is still in both notes. The rule says that for the interval number, you have to count the name changes and add one independent of accidentals. In this case, the name change is zero. Thus, the interval number is a unison. The quality of the interval is augmented because one of the notes is one half step higher. If we use flats to represent the notes, the interval name changes to minor second. Applying the interval number rule yields to a second and the quality is minor. Minor because the note is not part of the eight tones in the C major scale. In a major scale, all intervals are major. Since it is less than a major second, it is called a minor second. Going up the C major scale in half steps using flats will go from the unison to minor to major to minor to major to perfect. And the tone in the middle of a scale is called a tritone. The name tritone comes from the fact that the distance from the tonic is three whole tones. A whole tone having two half steps fits three times in six half steps. 
just to demonstrate that the interval name is not only dependent of the distance in half steps, we will turn off the use flats again. The OR part will change from diminished fifths to augmented fourths. As for node names, there are also different interval names for the same distance. Since you can only hear the distance, you can only name the distance in half steps. To give the distance a musical interval name, you must know the context. That is, you need to know the key signature and the placement on the stuff. For a complete list of diatonic and chromatic interval names, I will show you a table from Wikipedia. In the next video, we will look at triads and sevenths chords.